Welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about the internal functionality of compiler, meanwhile of assigning the value to variable directly. In this session, I am going to talk about the internal functionalities of compiler, meanwhile of assigning the value to variable with the help of another variable. With the help of another variable, this is a technically we can call as a casting. Here, casting means converting from one data type variable value to another data type variable value is called what here casting. Now, here in this video, I am not uh, talking about what exactly casting. Here, I am talking only about the internal functionality of the compiler meanwhile of assigning the value to variable with the help of another variable. See, observe here syntax wise. Let me take one uh, data type like a byte, byte b equal to 100. So, what type of internal functionality is done by the compiler already we discussed in the last video. So, here I am not highlighting again. Now, here I am going to be talk about uh, whenever we assign value to a variable, here I am assigning 100 value, but not directly with the support of uh, another variable. In this process, how the compiler is behaves? In this process, what type of functionality is taken care by the compiler? Now, first, this place we can call as destination place, this we can call as source place. The variable which is available in destination place, those variable we can call as a destination variable. The variable which is available in source place, we can call as what a source variable. Whenever we assigning any value to variable with the help of the another variable. Now, what type of functionalities are taken care by the compiler? The first one is compiler is going to check the destination variable and the source variable types. Destination variable and source variable types. Now, here destination variable type is what int and the source variable type is what byte. In the first step, compiler is going to be check about destination variable type as well as source variable type. Now, based on the types, compiler is going to be check based on the types compiler is going to be check about uh, ranges compiler is going to be check about uh, ranges of uh, data types now these are the compiler functionalities okay now the range of the data type is what uh, minus 2 power 7 to 0 to 2 power 7 minus 1 base minus 1. How to calculate the ranges? Already we discussed in the last video. If you have any doubt in this particular uh, region, better to go through my old video. Now, this is the range of what uh, source variable, nothing but byte variable. Now, what is the range of uh, int, nothing but destination variable. In Java, int provides 4 bytes of memory. So, 4 bytes is nothing but what 32 bits. Here I mentioned 2 power 31, nothing but 32 minus 1, 2, 0, 2, 2 power 32 minus 1, nothing but 31, 31 base minus 1 and uh, uh, here 2 power of 7 itself, here what here 2 power of 31 only. 2 power of 7 nothing but 128, 128 minus 1, 127. Here same here 2 power of 31 base minus 1. Now observe here these are the ranges. 
in the second uh, step compiler is going to be check ranges of byte minus 2 power of 7 to 0 to 2 power of 7 minus 1 or we can write like this also how many bytes are providing by the byte 8 bit 8 bits now we can write uh, 2 power 8 minus 1 to 0 to 2 power of 8 minus 1 base minus 1 we can write like this for int we can write uh, 2 power minus 2 power uh, what is that uh, 32 minus 1 total bits uh, given by the int 2 0 2 2 power of 32 minus 1 base minus 1. So, like this we can write calculate the ranges. Now, second uh, step is completed, but the third step is very important. The third step is in the last video I did talk about whenever we assign the value to variable directly compiler is going to be concentrate on source value, but in this time compiler not concentrate on the source value compiler concentrate on the ranges. Here compiler concentrate on the ranges means compiler is going to be check uh, compiler is going to be check uh, whether the destination variable range greater than or equal to source variable range or not. Whether the destination variable range greater than or equal to source variable range or not. If yes the above condition is true nothing but if yes then what happen this statement is ready to converting from this statement is ready to converting from source code to source code to byte code simply we can say that statement is what valid if if the above condition is invalid nothing but if fails nothing but if no nothing but if the above condition is fail then what happen we will get uh, compile time error pause of loss of uh, precision so that type of uh, error we will get a uh, possible loss of precision we will get uh, error message compile time error message so these are the mainly three steps done by the compiler meanwhile of uh, assigning the value to variable with the help of the another variable the first one is it will going to be check destination and source variable types here type is what int and source variable type is what here byte based on the data types the it is going to be calculated compiler is going to be checks what here ranges now in the third step in the third step it is going to be check destination variable range greater than or equal to source variable range or not if yes that statement is valid otherwise that statement is what error, error is nothing but what invalid error is nothing but invalid now here i am writing what one more time i am writing the same statement int a equal to b now let me take the highest ranges 2 power of uh, 31 minus 1 2 power of 31 minus 1 greater than or equal to 2 power of 7 minus 1. So, according to mathematical principle we can strike out the basis. So, we will get what 31 power of 31 greater than or equal to 7 that means this statement is valid. This statement is valid means this syntax is absolutely valid. If this condition is true this statement is valid. If the condition is false the statement is what here? invalid. So, what is the false statement? What is the invalid statement? Very simple observe here. Now, I am taking int c equal to triple 1 and uh, byte d equal to c. In this time, compiler is going to be check destination and source variable types as well as ranges as well as what uh, the third step is what destination variable range greater than or equal to source variable range or not. Now, now in this term destination variable range is what byte what is the highest value 2 power of 7 minus 1. Now, what is the source variable range int what is that 2 power 31 minus 1. Now, if we are strike out that uh, basis then we are getting uh, like this 7 greater than or equal to 31. Is this statement valid or invalid? Invalid. If this invalid means this statement is also what here invalid. If the condition is valid, statement is valid. If the condition is invalid, statement is also what here invalid. That means, by seeing this uh, structure we can say only one thing that is 
we can able to place lower range data type variable value to higher range data type variable value but we cannot place higher range data type variable value to lower range but will you please observe here the here that value is what triple one value is triple one but it is uh, totally compatible with what byte only the value is within the range of byte but why compiler giving here compile time error the reason is whenever we assign the value to variable with the help of the another variable compiler not concentrate on compiler not concentrate on value only concentration on uh, ranges so how can we overcome this problem that we will see in the next video i hope you enjoy this video thank you